Dear black man, I am not staring at you because I think you are going to rob me. I promise I will not hold my purse tighter when you are around nor lock my car doors just because you walk by. I cannot take my eyes off you because your beauty is breathtaking. It reminds me of safety, of protector, of strength. Your melanin holds manuscripts of those who created dynasties birthed by queens who first populated this planet. Your melanin is magic. This is no Mandingo memoir, nor some type of sick fetish. You are no object, nor oversexed male. You are lover, friend. You are no thug. Let this serve as a reminder that your life matters more than just to people who look like you. I speak for the people who look like me who may actually just be afraid to say it. That without you, there is no America, no so-called land of the free, where your equality is said to be subpar to even me. There is no revolution, no passion, no arts or music. There is no renaissance, no birth, no breath, no life, no me, no spoken word. You are the creator of good things. God's image is etched into your very being. Black man, you are no boy. The pavement was never meant to be your grave. Blood splattered shirts were never meant to be your attire. Your smile was never supposed to fade. Your skin was never meant to be a target. Your wings were never meant to be caged behind bars in a country that you helped build, symbolized by an eagle, despite the hypocrisy you forgive. Black man, it is okay to cry. I will cry with you. We will cry with you. Solidarity was never meant for the cold-hearted anyway. Let's leave the hate for the media and the lies that they spray. They spit on your character as though it were dirt in attempts at making the blind see they are no savior. They are serpents poisoning society, lacing eyes shut to oppression, manipulating minds to make them think that the selling of young black men to the prison system is just a figment of their imagination. Black man, you are no slave, no convict, no criminal. You are brave. You are bold enough to face another day in a country that teaches that your face should be feared. Black man, I thank you for living, for being, Forgive the stares of strangers, they may be out of fear, as in reverence, as in respect, as in awe of such a precious life. Black man, you matter. Black life matters. Thank you.